Hi guys, welcome back to another studio vlog. This is for the first two weeks of April of 2021 and um, I don't have a lot of drawing clips for the first two weeks because I mostly been well it's right after I published my new comic Lovely People online which you can read there's a link under the video and uh, I just also started my break from my main webcomic Stand Still Stay Silent which is um, you know, the regular chapter break after not having a break for about half a year. So I'm finally just kind of relaxing. And by relaxing, I mean I just started working again. I've been spending these last two weeks just uh, uh, scripting the next chapter for SSS. And uh, I've inked about four pages and I've sketched another two after that. And I hope to color those four pages this week and on top of that I started uh, as you will see in the vlog I started working on the print file for lovely people because a lot of people asked for it to be made into a physical book so that they can buy it which I plan to do all along no worries um, I want to have it done this spring actually if possible and um, yeah that's what I've been working on uh, if you're worried that I'm not taking a break, uh, no need. I've also had like days when I literally done nothing but um, just sit and stare at the screen, doing nothing. Um, I went for a walk once. Uh, spring has started arriving a little bit. You'll see it in the vlog going from full on winter still going to at last. Now today we got the first flower actually peeking out from the snow and um, so that's been really nice seeing the snow going away so I am mentally relaxing while getting work done and all kinds of stuff and I've cleaned you know spring cleaning you know I have to clean pretty much every day now because Kitty is uh, having her spring molting so there's just cat hair everywhere and pollen is starting to come around so there's pollen everywhere also just horrible, <laughs> ugly looking, no matter how much I clean. Everything is filled with dirt and dust. Um, what else? Mm, that's it, I guess. So I meant to plant a handful of tomatoes to go with the chilies. And um, see, I was a little bit surprised because, you know, the chili packages or the one package only had 10 seeds in it. And then I opened the tomato package and it had like 40 seeds or something, you know, same size package and everything. And I thought maybe this one has so many seeds because maybe tomato seeds are like tricky ones and most of them won't take. So you have to like plant a lot of them. Um, turns out I was wrong. <laughs> tomato seeds do not have a tricky starting percentage they pretty much grow like weeds and seems like all of them have started growing so now I'm gonna have to start calling a little bit because I do not have space to grow this many tomatoes it's been about a month since I took a clip of the chilies in the last vlog and they were really tiny they were like this high maybe <laughs> Remember that there was that one that had sprouted maybe a week after others and it was just this tiny little thing, you know, just these little starting leaves and try to guess which one is this. <laughs> maybe it's this one or is it this one or this one or that one or that one or that one. No, it's this one. It's the biggest one. <laughs> Is the one that sprouted last and was the tiniest because um, and it has the most leaves coming all the way from bottom to top. All the other ones kind of have this uh, almost bare stem because um, while the tiny one was kind of separated out from the rest, I did a bunch of starter mistakes. 
first I let them all dry out too much so they dropped like most of the leaves they had at that point um, so I knew to water this one a little bit more but I overwatered all of the other ones because they were a little bit bit bigger and uh, I freaked out and thought that they needed way more water and that made them drop all the remaining leaves <laughs> So yeah, they were kind of leafless for a couple of weeks, all of them, so <laughs> that was great. Well, this one just got to be spared from the pain. So it's the beginning of April, or end of the first week actually, and uh, still feels like spring is quite uh, quite some way away. It's getting really cold again, mostly gonna be barely above about zero during the days and it's gonna be snowing <sighs> ah and so you lots of people who live in places where it's already like um they have like, flowers and stuff i feel like it's still a, a good amount of ice and snow that needs to melt i did a little bit of clipping one one of my hedges so that there will be a little bit more light into the yard when the time comes but uh, it is not yet it is still almost winter so I'm working on oh look you can see the crack on my screen from this angle hey look at that it's like all over the place and cracking over here too <laughs> um, but it's fine um, so yeah I'm working on the print file for my comic lovely people um, I said I was gonna spend, uh, you know, these weeks of my break resting and instead of just be working. So yeah, I pretty much finished the whole print file. Uh, just proofreading a lot and fixing things that are too close to the margins. Um, fixing like uh, colors where it's uh, like too much black in one spot. See, that it will show it in like bright red if there's too much for the printers to handle ink limit 300% <laughs> so I fixed all of those places yeah nothing is showing errors and um, other little things that you need to do making sure all of the files are in CYMK and in the same profile that the printer uses uh, what else is like I said you have to do? I don't know, it's used a lot of back and forth, spotting mistakes and putting it all together and uh, then exporting the PDF once it's done and uh, I also put together the cover file here is, uh, oh man the sun is kind of coming in but um, the cover for the hardcover and uh, there's no text because I want to have the text in uh, in foil so this is gonna be the foil and then we have like the simulated view of what it's gonna look like so like the back text and the title in silver foil so that's what I've done also and uh, that's it really as far as making a print file or what I need for it and um, I'll let you guys know when um, when the, the comic is actually printed. I'm gonna do it now in spring, if I can. So hopefully pretty soon I'm gonna use the same printer that I always use when I self-publish my books. But anyway, that's the update on that. For everyone who was hoping for a printed version of it, it will be coming and I will sell it through my own my own online shop that I thankfully have. Also, I'm going to set up a newsletter for people to sign up to who want to get the printed book. I don't want to put it in the same one as uh, SSS updates, you know, my main webcomic. It's going to be confusing to people, it's not the same audience. Lots of people who read SSS do not like lovely people <laughs> and pro probably my future comics either. So I'm setting like a separate one up for that one and it's going to be like this. Hammond Club Studio Comics Newsletter. 
and I made a uh, oh, let me see if I can find it yeah I put together just this little uh, website on uh, what's it called um, MailChimp yeah that people will be able to use to sign up I'll post it under the comic in the next SSS update and I guess under the this video if I remember note to self remember to link the comics newsletter sign up under the video I will not remember I'll try well it is the 13th of April and finally spring is arriving it is um, maybe like plus six degrees Celsius today which is not that warm <laughs> but the thing is that it's not like minus 10 during the night anymore it's like minus one or something which means that the snow has started melting really fast like just 10 centimeters every day and also the first flowers let's go over there have just started coming up look at that just today they started appearing some crocuses it's gonna be a little bit of time still before it's warm enough to actually start planting anything the ground is still frozen and everything probably next month I think is when you can start planting outside so in uh, what's after April April May yeah in May <laughs> but I'm very happy about this by the way sorry about the weird sounds in the background lots of trucks driving by if you can hear like a bunch of rumbling <laughs> sounds like wind almost <laughs> 